Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will perform simulation, reaction simulation using Aspen Plus software. And this is our case. We will do benzene chlorination reaction. And this is the reaction. This is of course benzene, chlorine, right? And this is the products, all right? You can see we produce the HCl, hydrogen chloride acid and chlorobenzene all right we will perform this reaction using stoichiometric reaction in aspen plus and this is our data the temperature the pressure at one atmosphere the total molar flow of the feed is 100 kilomol per hour with the mole fractions of benzene of 0.5 and also the chlorine 0.5 the reaction will have 80% conversion of benzene at these pressure and temperature conditions of the reactor. And our task is to calculate the products rate and composition, all right, the effluent of the reactor. And we need to evaluate other important results. Okay, so we will run the simulation. We will perform the simulation of the reaction using Aspen Plus. So from here, we will go to the Aspen Plus, all right? So let's go. All right, so we are now inside the Aspen Plus. You can see here from our tree, we have set up and now we are in the components. All right, so we are now inside the components specifications under the selection bar, and we will find our four components in this window, okay? So we can go to this component ID, all right, and then we can type in C6H6, the benzene. All right, so the type is conventional, component name benzene alias C6H6, and this is the CAS number. Okay, that's our first component, and then chlorine, Cl2, chlorine, okay. And then the third one is the C685Cl, the chlorobenzene, chlorobenzene. And lastly, we have HCl, hydrogen chloride, the acid, right? So you can see we are now inside the specifications. We are in the selection. Okay, so far so good. From here, we can click next. All right, so we are now inside the methods. So still under the tree, the first one set up components, and now we are inside the methods folder. Okay, methods. This will be quick. So we will find method filter is common. We will find Peng Robinson. Okay, Peng Robinson in the base method. Let's find it. This one, Peng Robinson. Okay, so far so good. So now we are quite ready to do the simulation, but first we click run. Okay, and now we go to simulation environment. Right, we need to be patient. Sometimes it takes time. All right, now we are inside the simulation environment. You can see we have in model palette mixers or splitters, separator, exchanger, columns. Okay, we go to reactors and we have stoichiometric reactor, yield reactor, equilibrium reactor, Gibbs reactor, CSTR, continuous third tank reactor, black hole reactor and batch reactor. We will use stoichiometric reactor. Left click, right, just once. Now you can click this one to move here and there, right? Okay, so for example, if you right click, you have chain section, move section, deactivate, data sheets, right? 
copy. Okay. So from here, we will use the material. Okay. And we will make the feed stream and then the outlet stream. All right. Please be careful. Okay. Whereas this one will be deleted. Okay, so if you move your reactor, the stream will follow like this one. Okay, so you have stream one, S1, and you have S3. You can also rename S2, right? This is the reactor. You can call it V, and this one will be products all right so far so good we have the reactor and we have the stream okay now you can expand the stream folder right and then you can expand the feed stream and click this one in the feed all right so we are now inside the feed feed material this is the main flow sheet we have another section in feed material, all right? We have mixed this one. Okay, so flash type, temperature, it is the pressure and then for the state variables, temperature. So as our case, 343, but in Kelvin, right? 343 in Kelvin, whereas the pressure will be in atmosphere. So let's find the atmosphere one atmosphere. Okay, so for the total flow basis, it will be in moles and the total flow rate will be 100 kilomole per hour, right? It's quite simple for now. And in composition, instead of mass flow or mole flow, we will find the mole fraction. Okay, this one mole fraction. Okay, so for the Benzene, it will be 0 0.5. All right. And for the chlorine, 0 0.5 as well. And we don't have chlorobenzene or the HCl in the feed stream. Okay, so far so good. Temperature, pressure, state variables. All right. And we can go to this one. If you are quite familiar with metric unit, you can use this one metric unit or SI unit, right? It will change according to the unit system here. We will use the metric system. So we will have Kelvin atmosphere, kilomole per hour, right? All right, so far so good. Now we go to the next section, we click next. All right, so from the feed, we are now inside the reactor. Previously, we are in streams, and now we are in blocks. Inside the blocks, we have reactor here. All right, we are under the specification section, operating conditions now. The flash type, temperature and pressure, and the temperature will be 343, and the pressure, one atmosphere just like the fit condition. And the valid phases, vapor liquid. All right. So now we go to next section, which is the reaction, right? So you can go from here, go directly to this section. Now we click new, we create a new reaction. The reaction number one, the reactant will be open this one, benzene, and of course the chlorine. Quite simple. And the coefficient will be one and one, and you can see it will turn to negative automatically. All right, the stoichiometric coefficient. And the products will be 
chlorobenzene and also the HCl. And the coefficient, you can check the previous section of this video, the reaction or the coefficient of the chlorobenzene and the HCl are one, right? And the products generation, fractional conversion is of course 0 0.8 of component benzene, right? Very simple. So the Aspen Plus guide us through to do the simulation step by step, all right? So it is very comfortable for us as the simulator. And we can click next. All right, so you can see in the reactions here, we have only one reaction. Specification is the frac conversion, all right? Fractional conversion. And the fractional conversion is the 0 0.8 or 80% based on the benzene. And this is the stoichiometry of the reaction. You have benzene plus chlorine. It will produce this one, chlorobenzene and also the hydrogen chloride acid, all right? Okay, so far so good. So from here, from the reaction, we will go to the next section, which is the heat of reaction, all right? Okay, so in the calculation type, we will have do not report calculated heat of reaction. Of course, we want to get the heat of reaction, right? So report the calculated heat of reaction and we will call our reaction. Reaction component or reference component is this one, the benzene. All right. The reaction number one, reference component, reference temperature. You can use this one and one atmosphere. Okay, so from here, you will click run. All right. So we are finished in the heat of reaction section. We can now go to the main flow sheet. So we are still inside the reaction section. Go to the main flow sheet, right? You have fit products and you have reactor. Right click at the reactor, all right? And you can go to the results. Okay, so this is the result section. You have summary, balance, phase equilibrium, reactions and status. All right, this is the status. Now we go to the summary. So this section is important. The outlet temperature, the same temperature, 343 Kelvin, outlet pressure, one atmosphere, and this is the heat duty, net heat duty, all right? Or you can also say or call it as the heat of reaction. You can turn it to kilojoule per second, for example, and this one, the kilojoule per hour. Usually we use this unit, kilojoule per hour, or we can also use maybe BTU per hour or cal per second, right? But I prefer for now kilojoule per hour. And this is the vapor fraction. And the first liquid divided by total liquid, one. Okay, so far so good. Very simple, right? Very simple and we can check the balance. All right, so we have this one in, 100 kilomol per hour. The outlet, the same 100 kilomol per hour. All right, in terms of mass and in terms of enthalpy. Okay, mass, of course, they will be the same. And the mole will be 100 and 100 because the stoichiometric coefficients, all the coefficients are one, right? One benzene one chlorine, one chlorobenzene, and one HCl. And this is the enthalpy, all right? Relative difference. Okay, so far so good. From here, we can go back to the main flow sheet. 
All right. Right click and stream results. Okay, so you can check. This section is also important. I will click this one, auto hide. Okay, description from reactor to reactor stream class conventional. All right, that's not very important. You can go down. Okay. You can check the molar enthalpy, mass enthalpy, molar entropy, thermodynamic properties, right? Density in the feed stream and also the product stream. You can expand the mole flows. Okay, so yeah, because you are asked about the molar flow rate and the compositions, then we have the answers here in terms of molar flow rate kilomole per hour. This is what we have. All right, the feed stream is the benzene and chlorine. And 80% of the benzene will be converted. So 80% of 50 will be 40. So 50 minus 40, of course, will be 10. That's why we have 10 here. Chlorine 10, right? And 80% of the benzene will be the products, right? To be the chlorobenzene and HCl. And we have 40 kilomole per hour for the chlorobenzene and for the HCl, right? And in terms of mole fractions, just expand it very easily, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.5 as per data, the mole fractions of the benzene and the chlorine in the feed stream. And we have the mole fractions in the outlet streams or product streams. In terms of mass flows, mass fractions, vapor pace, and others, right? So you can understand it, you can see, you can follow through. So the stoichiometric reaction using the stoichiometric reactor in this S Pen Plus is very easy, very user-friendly. S Pen Plus guides us through right to perform the simulation of this reaction all right so that's all i hope you enjoyed the video i hope the video is useful and thank you so much see you again in the next aspen plus videos thank you